These street shows before the celebrations were meant to raise awareness about harmful practices against children. Butalija district registered the highest number of teenage pregnancies in just one year of COVID-19 lockdown at over 5,000. Early marriages are also common in the district, along with child labor, corporal punishments, and other common violations of children's rights. At Mutaleja Boma grounds, parents, local leaders, and child activists gathered to mark International Day of the African Child under the theme Eliminating Harmful Practices Affecting Children, Progress on Policy and Practice Since 2013. In Mutaleja district, where we have the youngest grandmother, she became a grandmother at the age of 27. The Youth and Children Affairs Minister called for an end to these practices. We must end corporal punishment. We must end the harmful practice of child marriages and teenage pregnancies in Mutaleja district and all districts of Uganda. It is bad, it is shameful, and it is very disgusting. She largely blamed teenage pregnancies on parenting. How many of you sit with your children and you talk? on issues to do with reproductive health. Most parents are very shy. The best thing they will say, I don't want you to come here when you're pregnant. And when the child comes when she's pregnant, you harass. Uh, we should stop being shy. Because when the problem comes, then the shyness will go. But leaders like Bunyale East MP, Yusuf Mutembole, blamed backward cultures and religious beliefs for some child marriages. I'm aware of a little matter at the age of 16 years old enough. However, the constitution is a supreme law. Therefore, we have to be able to do this. We have to be able to do this. Because we need them. They are the future leaders, the president, the MPs, the cows, and everyone that you may think about in this country. To ensure that the policies that we are making are put into action. Children have a right to health. Children have a right to education. Children have a right to uh, access to services. It's for this reason that children all over the country continue to remind their leaders of their commitment to honor their words by ensuring that they create an environment that is beneficial the Day of the African Child was first initiated by the Organization of African Unity 1991 in honor of those who took part in the 1976 Soweto Uprising, a series of demonstrations in which South African students were killed for protesting against apartheid-inspired education. Oh, the African Child!